This is example 3.3. .3. This example reads, find the resultant vector sum of the two forces acting on the crutch as shown at right. Hint, first resolve the top force into its horizontal and vertical components. So for this example, we have two forces acting on a crutch. One in the upward direction at 420 newtons, and the other one downward into the left at 820 newtons. This one is 20 degrees from the vertical. So if we wanted to find the vector sum, we would just have to add up all the forces on the crutch into one total force. But because our 820 newton force is at an angle and doesn't exactly oppose the 420 newton coming up from the bottom, we have to break the 820 newton force into its vertical and horizontal components. So as the first step for this problem, let's do that. We have an 820 newton force at 20 degrees from the vertical. We want to find the vertical and the horizontal components of this force. To do so, we'll use sine or cosine. The cheat I always use is SOHCAHTOA, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. Let's do horizontal first. So, horizontal is the opposite side of the angle, and we know the hypotenuse, so we'll use sine. Sine of the angle, 20 degrees, equals the opposite side, which is h, what we're solving for, over the hypotenuse, which is 820 newtons. We'll plug this into our calculator. h equals 280.4 six newtons. Now let's solve for the vertical. So we know the angle, we're looking for the adjacent side, and we know the hypotenuse side, so we'll use cosine. Cosine of the angle, 20 degrees, equals the adjacent side, which is V, over the hypotenuse, which is 820 newtons. We'll also plug this into our calculator. The vertical side is 770.55 newtons. Now, this horizontal force, because the total force was downward and towards the left, this horizontal force is to the left. So we'll draw an arrow next to that. For the vertical force, since this vector is downward, the vertical will also be downward. So these are almost like individual forces on the crutch, and we can look at them that way. So let's draw a picture to make this easier. Now, we know that we have a horizontal force at 280.46 newtons. We have a downward force of 770 point five five newtons. And also from the problem we know we have a 420 newton force coming up from the bottom. We can find the vector sum of the vertical components. If we have a 770 point five five newton force downward and only a 420 newton upward, we know that the resultant of these two is going to be downward, but by how much? The way to figure out how much the vertical component is, is to subtract 420 newtons from 770.55 newtons. So we will do so. Our 
our total vertical force is 350.55 newtons downward. Since this is the only horizontal force acting on this crutch, there's nothing negating it, so we know that there's a force to the left by 280.46 newtons. So now we know the horizontal force and the total vertical force. To find the total of these two, we're going to draw a triangle and find the resultant sum, or the hypotenuse, as the total force on the crutch. So we're going to draw a picture of a triangle to find the resultant vector. We know we have a 280.46 newton force to the left. And we know we have a 350.55 newton force downward. To find the resultant vector sum of these two forces, we're going to complete the triangle. This is our hypotenuse side, and this is going to be the resultant vector sum. So we're going to be solving for h. For this, because we don't know either of these angles, we're going to have to use Pythagorean theorem, which states side a squared plus side b squared equals side c squared. Side C is always the hypotenuse. So let's write this out. It doesn't matter which side we make A or B as long as it's not the hypotenuse. So let's label this one A and this one B just so we don't get confused. plug this in our calculator. Our hypotenuse, or our resultant vector sum, is 448.94 newtons. This is our answer. This question does not ask for the angle from the horizontal or the angle from the vertical, but if we wanted to, we could figure this out using sine, cosine, or tangent. This is example 3.3. .3.